Math is not just numbers and complicated equations. It is a part of our everyday life. We use math to measure everything: our body scales, how far it is from our home to school, or how long it is until our next birthday. See, math has numerous uses, but I bet that you've never wondered how or when mathematics was created. So let's find out together, shall we? It all started a long time ago, when there was no civilization at all. Primitive humans, or as we call them, cavemen, had no definition of measurements or time, so it was hard, as they needed to know which time of the year is suitable for planting, hunting, and gathering food. So they tried to count the days and nights to determine the seasons of the year. They marked the number of days by carving lines on stones or the wall of their caves where they lived. As they kept counting, they finally discovered the time for each season: spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And they knew the right time to plant crops, hunt, and gather fruits. And that is the primitive form of mathematics. Moving on, according to the development of civilization, the ancient Babylonian saw the large amount of line markings as inconvenient, so they did something wondrous. They created symbols to represent the number of line markings, and so the very first form of numbers was born. They carved a symbol on clay tablets, as historic records show. The ancient Egyptian did the similar thing. And created the symbols of numbers based on everyday objects, such as one is symbolized by the staff icon, ten is symbolized by the heel icon, one hundred is a coil of rope, and one thousand is a lotus flower, and so on. But beside the symbols of numbers, the ancient Egyptian came up with something else, something that put mathematics to another level, something that the modern society still uses today. Back in the day when they wanted to share properties such as food, lands, or fortunes equally, the Egyptian thought of a new type of symbols for sharing of numbers. Thus, fraction was created, such as one half, one third, or one fourth. Math is amazing, isn't it? But that's not all for the development of mathematics through time. There are many civilizations. That contributed to math, such as the ancient Romans or Persians. But we will share these historical events with you in another video. If you are curious about more mathematics knowledge, then you should like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page. We are Wesley Academy. Good day, ladies and gentlemen.